All right, we're hitting a big milestone this week, mm -hmm. and that is one year, one as full-time RVers on the road. Boy, have we learned a lot. It's been pretty embarrassing, and um, I'm not going to say it was easy, but it's been fun and hard at the same time. <laughs> Fun and fabulous. Um, if you don't know what we're talking about, uh, go look at some of our past videos. We were not shy about bringing the camera with us and showing our mistakes. You know it. So what we'd like to talk about in this episode is the five biggest lessons learned or tips we'd like to kick over to you in your first year as full-time RVers. So five tips in five minutes. Let's go. Tip number one. Have a parking backup plan. Let's face it, where you're gonna park for the night may not exactly be the best place for you. It may not be the right fit. And I'm not just talking about size that is an issue. Sometimes you just cannot get level. You can move up and down that site and nowhere you go can you get level. We went to a big site in Tennessee that was huge and it was great. Everything looked perfect, pulled in, not going to happen, absolutely impossible for a Class A motor coach and keeping all four wheels on the ground. So leveling was a big factor. Other times it could be obstructions. You could have a big tree branch that you just cannot maneuver around and it's just not right or not safe to park there. You read the reviews, everything looks fantastic, and then you show up and there is an element, something's going on, maybe the people, where you just don't feel safe, you have to move out. And that's why you need a backup plan. A rest area? A Walmart. A Cabela's. A Cracker Barrel. Going another 50 miles. So before you find that spot, do your due diligence. Try to eliminate all possible factors. Go, but have that plan. Absolutely. Tip number two. Lubricate. Lubricate, lubricate. Lubricate. You're on the road for a year. You're hitting a lot of different climates. Things are going to dry out and you need to stay up on them. If you don't, your coach is going to moan, groan, squeak and creak at you. And we started hearing that in our front jacks. My bay doors didn't close right. The door was harder to open. And so what I did was either I used slide lube for the big things like the slide seals and things like that. I use WD-40 to kind of loosen up and lubricate a lot of the door latches and fittings. And then I used a WD-40 contact cleaner that you can buy, which is specifically designed for electric or electronic components. It goes in there and it cleans the contacts and keeps the lights on because the lights started flickering a little bit. So yes, lubrication is very important. Keep your rig lubricated, people. Tip number three. Don't rely on just one navigation system. Mm -mm, don't do it. <laughs> okay, kind of seems like a lot, but we use three redundant navigation systems. First is the Garmin RV Drive GPS that we use to make sure that we don't hit a low overhanging bridge and we don't get ourselves in an area where we can't turn around. Super useful, not perfect. We'll link the information on it below. I also use the Waze app. The Waze app is great because it routes us around bad traffic. I don't know if you've used this before, but it crowdsources information on near real-time traffic reporting. Super useful, but it can't be configured for RVs, so it kind of, it's not perfect either. And I'm usually in the co-pilot seat with Google Maps up so that I can use a satellite view, zoom in, and make sure that everything is A-OK -okay for our trip. And the navigation's good too. It's a third system, so one of these has beat out the other two. I would say have three. Always. Tip number four. Have a fitness routine. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> Staying in shape on the road is tough. It can be tough, but you know what? Just a pair of running sneakers where you can just go out for a walk or a hike or a short run is really one easy way to stay in shape. You just have to make sure you go do it. Also, there are lots of free or cheap workout plans. I do HIIT workouts, high intensity impact training, and I'm done in 18 minutes. Yep, she whips out the old phone, sets it over here next to the coffee machine. I sit right here in the couch and I'm surfing the web while she's doing push-ups and sit-ups and squats and all this other stuff. But she does that. It's only 18 minutes and it's pretty easy. But stay fit. Get that 
heart rate up, uh, do the best to stay in shape as much as possible. Or join us on a volunteer project because we are active. Right, volunteering, you've seen me working on trails. I love trail work and I watched the pounds come off. I lost 10 to 15 pounds while we were doing all that trail work in Alabama. So stay in shape, stay fit. And tip number five. Duh, volunteer. One of the best parts about our full-time RV life is volunteering. You've been RVing for a little while and you're just bored of all the touristy stuff. Come on, come with us and volunteer. Find a project if you can't join up with us or make your own volunteer project. And if you have questions about resources or, I, or where to get ideas of where to volunteer, shoot us an email at yourtovolunteer at gmail.com. We will more than happy to help you find a place to volunteer when you're on the road. There were a lot of folks who were not planning on doing that who did, and it really kind of modified their whole full-time journey life. And so we'd love to hear your comments down below. <laughs> well, that's it for this week. And uh, we've got a lot of stuff happening here in the next week. In less than one week, we hit the road and we're on our way to Georgia. We got bunches of projects coming up. So check out our website, a year to volunteer.com with a list of everything that we've got coming up and what we're doing at each place. And there's still spots. So sign up if you're interested. And right below is where we list our project basically our highlights and some other information. So please check below this video, see what we've got posted there. And if you're still confused, if you still have a question, no worries, shoot us an email at a year to volunteer at gmail.com and we will get back to you as soon as we can. So be sure to give us that thumbs up, hit the notification bell and subscribe. Bye everyone. Bye, happy new year. Okay, between all these takes, we've come up with five Unwritten rules, so here they are. The first unwritten rule, always have a shot of tequila before you do a video. Second unwritten rule that nobody talks about is you gotta make sure you kiss your wife a lot and tell her you're sorry before you start doing a video. <laughs> the third unwritten rule of doing videos and being full-time RVers, if you don't like people standing in the background, like they're come out and they're walk around, oh wait, that's like Murphy's Law. Whenever you're doing a video outside, people are going to all start to mill about and make noise and they're going to drive you crazy and you just end up bringing the tripod inside and doing it inside your coach. Hmm. Unwritten rule number four, when things aren't going well and you keep stuttering and stammering and having to redo your takes. Unwritten rule number four, when you're on your 10th take of the same thing, refer back to rule number one. This is rule number one. Sean and I got this in this little set for five bucks in Cabo San Lucas. Ten years ago. Yeah, and when one of us is like really, really frustrated, this is rule number one. <laughs> Unwritten. Unwritten. Unwritten rule number five is that when one of you needs to go to the bathroom and it's just the two of you, make the other person sing. <laughs>